because you can see he's parallel with the other safety and that safety's in a back pedal. He's not gonna be able to flip his hips and get around fast enough. You see how this route is the MVP is he doesn't just draw a double team when he crosses the field, he actually draws a triple team. You can see how both the safety and the quarterback are watching him, but he drops all the way back because he's still guarding that receiver in that area, basically allowing this post route to have a one-on-one -on -one with this receiver or this quarterback here. And you're gonna see how that's gonna be a win every single time. That the streaking tight end a lot of times will help to set a pick, which can help to get this receiver wide open even easier for an easy catch and run one play touchdown. <laughs> For the fastest, cheapest, and most reliable coins in the market with a no-band guaranteed delivery, check out my coin sponsor, MOXP.com, and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniffing the Mad Cheese, as always. Got another Glitch Rods video for you guys today. If you guys don't know, I recently put out a brand new ebook in the Green Bay Packers. And every time I put out a new ebook, I like to put out a video like this, showing you guys some of the glitchier routes that can be found or that I found while I was labbing the playbook. So in today's video, I'm going to show you guys several routes from this playbook that I found that score instant one-play touchdowns against just about every single defense in the game. But before I do, if you guys want to see more videos like this, I try to put these out like once a month. Please make sure to be a subscriber. Hit the like button. Let me know in the comment section if you want more help you can instantly download this or any of my ebooks simply by clicking the links in the description or the top pin comment now i usually start off with a lot of man coverages but today i'm going to start off with cover four because cover four regular is one of the hardest defenses in the game to hit a one play touchdown against and this particular playbook has one of the best natural one play touchdowns against cover four in the entire game out of the single back wing close the play itself is the pa cross now the route that's going to score is not necessarily the glitch route in this play the post route is what's going to get open but to me the b route it's really the glitchiest route and the reason is because that's one of the few routes that will hold the safety down allowing the post route to get over the top which makes this play a no adjustments won't play touchdown against cover four you just have to wait till he gets inside of that safety and then bullet and pass lead away over the top of the other safety this might be my favorite cover four play in the entire game. It's because it takes no adjustments. It's also in a very good run heavy base scheme in the playbook. But ultimately this route here, once he gets inside of this safety here, once he's parallel, I already know he's gonna get beat. Because you can see he's parallel with the other safety and that safety's in a back pedal. He's not gonna be able to flip his hips and get around fast enough. So you can see I'm probably already loaded up if I go back to the quarterback and you can see it's just really just a simple bullet and pass lead away. One of the best things about this play as well is it also works against cover four match so we're gonna pick the exact same play and then we're gonna go back to cover four match this time cover four quarters and you'll see once again that this play requires no setup the post route's gonna work the exact same way the b route's gonna draw the double team and it's gonna allow this receiver to get open wide open over the top for another one play touchdown once again and if we watch the replay once again you can see how this route is the mvp is he doesn't just draw a double team when he crosses the field he actually draws a triple team you can see how both the safety and the quarterback are watching him and this uh cornerback here or safety not really sure but he drops all the way back because he's still guarding that receiver in that area basically allowing this post route to have a one-on-one -on -one with this receiver or this cornerback here and you're going to see how that's going to be a win every single time next up we're going to continue with zones i'm going to show you guys a one play touchdown against cover two that requires no adjustments out of the single back wing flex close and that play is the four verticals. So let's go and let's pick that. We'll match on defense with Tampa 2. This is another play that requires no adjustments other than running it from a hash mark to the open side of the field. And all I really have to do is motion out this RB tight end to give myself as much deep space as possible. You can see how the safety there uh, motions out. That's just going to change how they play these deeper coverages. If you want to make a one play touchdown, I mean, you can get a big play simply by running it as is, and the X receiver will get open regardless. And it's because of the B route and the Y route. The B route pulls back the safety and the Y route pulls down the cornerback. And you can see how you can still get a very big play with the potential of a one play touchdown catch and run. But if you want to create more space, it's best just to motion this guy out. And now you'll see how based on the fact that that safety is playing over, the other safety will have to as well. And you can really just get a big play the exact same way. Only this time you just have a little bit more space as I'm going to call that a one play touchdown as we get the extra yards needed. If you watch the replay, the best time to throw the ball is when he's parallel with the cornerback once again. You can even throw it early because the fact that once again, this cornerback is backpedaling and this receiver is sprinting is gonna make sure that I get over the top. As you can see, the second he's parallel, I throw that ball and we've got nothing but space here to the outside for another one play touchdown. This play also works against cover two man. So let's go ahead and let's pick that. And this is gonna be the exact same play with the exact same setup, no real setup required. But you can see how the B receiver is a really good option against cover two man as well, as he just runs right down the center between the two safeties. And you can see he doesn't really get pressed 
And the four verticals concept really makes the safeties play this to the point where they really can't commit to anything. And that's why this guy runs right through the middle for an easy one-play touchdown. Now, for cover three, I'm going to do a little bit more of a setup, but I'm going to show you guys a play out of the strong close. The play itself is called the PA deep, and you can probably tell by the diagram that this is a pretty unique route. So let's go ahead and let's pick that. On defense, we're going to continue with cover three. Now, for cover three, I'm going to show you guys a bit of a setup because there's really not a lot of plays that are natural one-play touchdowns against cover three, but I wanted to show you guys a very unique route, and this is that play. So the B receiver is going to be the one that scores. All you have to do is put the A receiver on a streak, the tight end, and motion out Watson here and put him on a comeback route. Now, that's pretty much all you have to do, but if you want to, you can block your running backs for a little bit more pass pro because you do have to wait for the B receiver to get across, and you can see how he's wide open for a one-play touchdown as long as you don't get a stupid jumping catch animation like I did there. To me, what makes this route so glitchy is how quickly it gets across the field because it doesn't really cut. It just kind of takes a turn and the streak there pulls that safety back to the point where you have about 10 yards of space to the nearest defender as the cornerback's nowhere to be found either. So it's just a bullet and pass lead away and it's a very easy one play touchdown. And I'm also going to use this route to show you guys some man beaters because this is a very good man beating route as well. So let's go and let's pick that. We're going to start off with the Overstorm Brave. Now we're back to no adjustments territories. You just have to hike the ball and the B receiver here should have enough space to create an easy catch and run one play touchdown with no adjustments at all as the tight end's already blocking to pick up the blitz. This is a very good route, but the formation has a lot to do with why it works as well. As you can see, the tight formation makes it to the point where the cornerback really can't man align properly and he's always giving up inside leverage. So the second he turns that corner and takes that, and takes that route off, you can see how there's just no way that cornerback can keep up because he's basically trailing the entire way. And last but not least, this play also scores a one-play touchdown against cover one. So let's go to pick cover one hole. And if I really want to, this play does not need any adjustments. You can just run it from a hash mark to the short side of the field. But it works best if you put the A receiver on a streak to pull back that safety and prevent this B receiver from getting double teamed, as he also can get in the way and create more space for the route. As you can see right there, the cornerbacks bumped into one another. If you have a fast enough receiver here, this play will typically beat the coverage, but you can see based off of the fact that they're running the routes at a pretty much the same depth, that the streaking tight end a lot of times will help to set a pick, which can help to get this receiver wide open even easier for an easy catch and run one play touchdown. So I'm gonna go ahead and end the video there, but if you guys wanna see more plays from the Packers offense or just more glitch routes videos, which I typically try to do once a month, please make sure to be a subscriber, hit the like button, let me know in the comment section. And that's it, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just wanna show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get Exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below. The For the fastest, cheapest, and most reliable coins in the market with a no band guaranteed delivery, check out my coin sponsor, MOXP.com, and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below.